Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking my most used and loved fashion and beauty products of 2022. We a little late, we a little late, but it's right on time. Let's get into it. I love you. This handbag got used the most by me and it is the one that people comment on the most. And this is the Sarah Battaglia Carolina handbag. I mean, come on. You know that this handbag is dope. Look at this detailing on the side, this little accordion. It has a back pocket. It is a crossbody. It comes with a strap. This is a smooth leather. Like I absolutely love this handbag. She also has a white one. She has different shapes. So I will link what I can find down below because if this is the part that you like, she actually makes this quite often. It's kind of a signature of Sarah Battaglia. So this is one thing, loved it. This coat, this is a pea coat from Mango. It has, I wanna say a wool blend. Yes, peachy fabric made in Italy. And this thing is has some weight to it. It is long, it is fabulous. I got it in an extra large. It looks so good. It dresses up any outfit and it's not too much. It gives the right level of swag that people are like, oh, she, she, she really about that life. And so I am including it in this. It is so good. It's from Mango and I think it's still available. This t-shirt, Wake Fluff Slay, it's from my own merch line, Latoya Ebony, and I use, I, I wore this thing out. It is time for me to get another one because it is starting to fade. And I love this because I'm able to dress it up, dress it down. I'll give you guys a couple of examples. And I also just wear it around the house. It's just nice to have a fitted t-shirt that is not so baggy that it looks so, so casual. But I don't know, I really like this. It's really nice to layer under blazers and I love wearing blazers. Next is this asymmetrical neckline rouged work dress. It is a quarter length sleeve. It comes on this navy blue. It actually comes in quite a few colors, but I'm so glad I got the navy blue. I will link this below. It is from Amazon. It fits me so well. And this rouging, it really kind of like, doesn't exactly hide my belly, but it does, it, it like makes it, I don't know. I don't, you guys are just gonna have to see for yourself, okay? This is a great dress. I have worn it for auditions, for meetings. I've worn it to church. I, I really, really, really love this dress. Highly recommend it. This little thing right here, this is called a steamer, a clothes steamer. You fill it up here. I mean, it plugs in and within 60 seconds, it's like ready to go. So you basically can fill it up here. You put the water in here, boom. And then you can do a continuous flow of heat water, steamed water, or you can kind of control it with the gun here. I'm getting a phone call. This was my most burned candle. I'm getting another phone call. Burning right now and I refuse to blow it out. This is called Left on Red by Jackie Ina and Forever Mood. <laughs> this has the notes of coconut, coconut milk. This smells really good. It has like a kind of gourmand smell to it. Like the vanillas, the caramel. I believe it has caramel in it with the sweetness on top. So I really absolutely love this candle. It's called Left on Red. It's feminine. It gives me a sense of calm and I feel like it has a little bit of a powdery smell to it. Some people might not smell that's powdery, but there's something in it. I don't know what it is, but it's a good one. Beauty. We've got foundation. Okay, I've got Dior Backstage, and it is a face and body foundation. This is in the shade 5W, and you know, it gets the job done. I really like it. It's very lightweight. It has a natural finish, not matte, not dewy, somewhere in the middle, so I think it makes a great face and body, and it's thin enough to glide on. It's not cakey feeling. It kind of melts into the skin. I love this. I use this mostly. I use more of this in the summer. And my winter shade is Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte. So I have combination oily skin. I really like this. This is in shade 
uh, 370 and actually it is darker than the way it looks in the bottle it's buildable so you can go like almost full coverage with it and I tend to mix these two to get my favorite shade or my shade it changes from winter to summer so there's that. Now this is not a favorite, but it is what I'm wearing right now. This is the Buxom Full On Lipstick in Monte Carlo. Don't know if you can get this anymore, but I just wanted to let you guys know. It's a lipstick that's like a crayon. Probably gonna be on like Poshmark or something, who knows. Speaking of lip products, this is by Bobbi Brown. It's the Art Stick and this is in shade Harlow, Harlow Red. It is literally a colored pencil. This is my favorite lipstick or my most worn lipstick of 2020. If I can find it, I will link it. It's such a good red and this is why I like it. It does transfer obviously if you kiss someone, but it doesn't run, it doesn't melt in the sun. It lasts on your lips. It's, it's not as dry as a lip stain, but it's not as movable as a lipstick. It's somewhere in the middle. It's kind of has a finish like this. You know, it's not completely matte, but it's not glossy. It's a really beautiful color. Concealer, LA Girls Pro Conceal. My two shades are Cool Tan and Fawn. Cool Tan I'll use under my eyes. I don't use a brow powder. So I use this under my brow bone. And then this one is what I use to cover like blemishes on my face. And what I like about it is that it's not too cakey. It blends right in. It has a brush as the tip. So it's really, really, really easy to apply and it's very affordable. I get mine from Amazon, I'll link it. I'm an OG and Ben Nye's translucent powders or setting powders they're bae for me okay i started with banana and banana i mean people have been going hard for banana for years and then i found topaz okay topaz a lot of dark skinned women love this as well and i mix them and when i mix them i get my perfect shade and it's just it mattifies your face what i mainly use it for is no flashback there's no flashback because they're colored. So when you're doing when you're doing like flash photography, a lot of times when you use like these white silica powders, you end up looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. And these don't do that. So this is why I use this. And something amazing is gonna have to come up to help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these till they're gone, okay? I have no need to get anything else right now. And lastly, we're gonna talk about blushes, okay? One of them, is a red blush that I accidentally broke. I wanna say it was by NYX, I will find it. I ended up having to crush it up and put it in here, but I love it. I pair this typically with red lipstick. There's another one by NARS called Exhibit A that I don't even think that they sell anymore. I will find you guys a red blush. I will find one of these, wherever it is, I will find it and I will link it down below. Red it looks so beautiful on women of color. You just have to be very light-handed with it. Like put a little on and it's just do 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 do. Okay? And then like blend it out and you're good and it just oh, it goes so good with red lipstick, you guys. Please do not be afraid of it. Coral is probably my most worn shade and it is by Ben Nye as well as called Dark Tech and I'm wearing that today. Okay? It is a beautiful color. You don't need a lot of it. And it just gives you like a natural flush. You know, it's coral. If red scares you, try coral. It's so beautiful, man. And of course, you cannot go wrong with the copper. MAC has a copper, NYX has a copper. NYX really, they discontinue things a lot. This one is called copper. But MAC also has one that was the first one I ever got. This one is called Format by MAC. And NYX Copper was basically a dupe of the MAC one. Slightly different, of course, but they do give a very similar effect. It's like this beautiful copper sheen. And I love using this in, in the summertime. It gives a little bit of color, but it's like a color that's not really there. You know what I mean? It's just like, ooh, girl, you look dewy. What's that? It's a blush, a bronzer, a highlight in one. It's a really beautiful, beautiful shade. And that's what I'm closing things out with. So that those were my most used products of 2022. And I am 
going to come back with current favorites. We have been trying a lot of new products, you guys, and I'm so excited to share them with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment your suggestions down below or any questions you have, and I will see you on a Wednesday or a Saturday. I'm still trying to figure out this channel's upload day. I'm thinking Wednesdays and Saturdays. If I can muster it, it's gonna be one of them days, okay? Definitely a Saturday. Not sure about the Wednesday. Let me know. I love you all and I will see you in a couple days. <laughs>